Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Mr. Corn Snake actually is in a place where he can be observed. How about that? How are you, dude? This cage we can leave open. Mr. Corn Snake was originally destined to become a meal for a cobra. Uh, he's just an ordinary corn snake. He doesn't have any unusual uh, pedigree, you know, all the different colors that people were breeding and stuff. So, as far as the breeder was concerned, he was, he was uh, uh, expendable, let's say. Um, so, I uh, decided to pay the $10 the guy wanted and picked up uh, the corn snake and he's been with us uh, ever since. Looks like Blue is in shed. <laughs> yes, he's always in shed. Looks like he, he wants something to eat too. Oh my, you actually made good progress on that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Thud. Don't slam your face on the glass. You've been doing that quite frequently recently. Who's that? Oh. Mr. Tyrannica. Tyrannica, yeah. Try to give him water and uh, he's all over you. Oh dear. We're going in with the crazy one? Uh, yep, time for the crazy one to get uh, something to eat if he is in the mood, but you never can tell with him. He will let you know very quickly on what kind of mood he's in. I already see his neck is flared, but his tongue is flicking. Hello. Oh, okay. He decided that that was something he wanted. he has eaten in a couple of weeks. At least he's well illuminated. Notice he's got quite a few. It's quite common for boom slangs to have more than one large active fang at a time. And he's no exception. Yeah, I can't see that from here really. Thud, are you looking for your uh, next one? Let me shut Mr. Boomslang's door. Wrong direction, Thud. Easy, easy. Oh, it's such fun to see that gaping mouth coming straight for you. I've had that happen with him. <laughs> yes. Actually, I remember the time you weren't facing the cage and he came out and was going to bite you on the butt until I warned you. Yeah, and then you were helping him. You were <laughs> holding the hook underneath him as he kept coming forward. And I'm like, do you mind? <laughs> You don't have to help him, at least. Yeah, he was mostly harmless. Well, you can't fault him for wanting to bite a nice-looking butt. <laughs> All right, Mr. Boomslang, you're... Uh... All right, you can go back in your cage. 
<laughs> that's the only snake in the building that you can uh, uh, not worry about getting bit by. Although, he will bite you, for sure. Oh, yes. Put him back in there. Well, that's easier for you to say. <laughs> I'm holding the food. Come on. But wait, wait, I'm hoping for more. I want to come out to visit. There you go. See? Why can't they all cooperate like that? Well, but that's no fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not as exciting. Nope, nope. There you go, bud. Blue, come here. Here are you, crusty old guy. Huh? You want that? Shed again. <laughs> it's always interesting to watch the gyrations he goes through to eat. <laughs> oh, he's going to duck into his log uh, so we can't see him anyway. Come back over here and She's been glaring at us ever since she came out. She, of course, expects us to immediately clean her mess that she left. We didn't do that. Don't glare at us. Well, I have to sort of pick her non-pointy end uh, uh, up and uh, move her out of the way before I could clean that. Mm-hmm. You know there's a very interesting. You still running? Yep. <laughs> interesting uh, statistic on uh, on uh, YouTube. Um, my most most watched video of 2023 was when we let her out in the cage and let her wander around. Oh yes, those were always fun videos. Yep. Uh, hello, Mr. Boomer. There we go. Since I'm holding this, you can uh, grab another food item uh, with a pair of tongs that I laid down there. Because when Mr. Boomslang is done, I'm sure he is going to come uh, looking for more. Unfortunately, I don't have more than two arms and hands. Cause yes, why don't you hand the camera back? I don't want you. Well, I'll toss you the camera if necessary. an interesting view of, of Mr. Boomslang dive bombing on the mouse. There we go. Did you get another? Uh, how many are left in there? Two. Two. He hasn't eaten in a couple weeks, so we'll uh, 
This is his third, so now let's just leave him be for the moment. I don't know of too many people keeping boom slangs in the U.S. anymore. Probably because there's not a whole lot of importing from other countries at this time. And boom slang antivenin is in short supply. And it's very expensive. Although, uh, the folks that make Inosurp or uh, they make a Pan-African, uh, they're going to be including uh, Moonslang Venom in the mix, so we will have a different source of Moonslang anti-venom. Um, it's just that it hasn't gone through clinical trials yet. See how efficacious it is. All right, Mr. Boomslang is done. Thud is looking for more. Everybody's on a two-week feeding schedule for the most part, except the babies, uh, which they don't like because um, they have this feeling they're being starved to death slowly. Right, Thud? Despite the fact that they're all big fat pigs. <laughs> yes. They're not starving, but you'd never convince them of it. Absolutely. Yeah, I think the reason she's huffing and puffing at us is she's, you know, like, okay, I've pooped. I need more fuel. No more food. Nope. And when you move, we'll, we'll go in, or well, uh, we, Al will go in and clean. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I'm not crazy. Oh, you're putting on a show still. It's, oh, look at that. The tail's going in. Right beneath the piece of poop. Yes, right under the poop. get a little something for that. We'll see. Such a nice, you're just putting on such a nice show for us. Yep, we always have some substrate on their head to make sure that they're camouflaged. Alright. Oh, he's going away. You didn't put on a good enough show. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, <laughs> Miss Bobbit. Who's Miss Bobbit? Hey, girly. Oh, is she gonna get one now? Yeah, she looks pathetic. She ate last week, though. But she's not one of the big fatties. She's well filled out. Here you go. And that's all it takes. You can see the yellow on the fur. That's the enzyme L amino oxidase. Very common in pit viper venom. Not good to get it under your skin. Mm. 